is my piece up here. Good. Uh, I, I like to, I work in all different types of uh, materials and uh, I kind of just like locking myself into my studio for like three days and seeing what comes out. Uh, hopefully I come out of it. <laughs> but uh, I also do a lot of commission work which kind of gets boring so that's sort of when I get bored I kind of offshoot to surprise myself and keep myself interested. So this is sort of a product of that. Um, I found some, some free paper and I grabbed a chunk of graphite and just kind of to keep myself entertained started doing like this repetitive sort of uh, motion um, and you kind of pick up the texture of the wall that I was doing it on and then once I uh, once I had that texture and this, this repetitive sort of mark making uh, I started going in and kind of looking at it and because of the texture you could start to see these these heads kind of popping out these little faces and expressions and so I started sort of pulling out these little characters and then depending on the, the, the expression and, and the location and where it's looking and then the expression of the face next to it, then I kind of let my mind wander and kind of create these scenarios, uh, whatever I kind of see into it. And, uh, sort of a surrealist, I guess, technique in a way, sort of just like letting your subconscious kind of uh, have fun and like try not to like question much of it or try to explain it. I just And that's kind of the excitement for me is that it's surprising and, and it's funny and it's sad and it's... And it's uh, horrifying in some cases, uh, but hopefully it's in a way like, you know, beautiful the way the world is. And uh, yeah, so it's sort of like this, like I said, I just try to keep the authenticity of just like, I don't question what pops in my head, I just do it. And uh, it's kind of tough to explain to people. And once you get in there kind of close and look into it, I hope it draws you in, that it drags you through like all these these uh, weird sort of uh, weird scenes. Um, <laughs> so I suggest, yeah, get close to it and uh, let yourself just kind of get drawn into it and be surprised and hopefully some things are funny and sad. And, uh, so hopefully, I think it's a good reflection of sort of the madness of the whole world all going at once. Um, and, uh, you know, you get a little density, a little Little population of different characters kind of interacting with each other and uh, yeah um, so th this this is sort of drawn out of this repetitive uh, mark making but uh, daily I do like these random scribble lines and I look at it four different ways and see whatever my, my whatever jumps out and surprises me I think that's the main thing uh, for this work is just it's like I get bored in the studio of doing what I have to do to, to make money and then I have to like, so I have to surprise myself and I, I myself, I, 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 get, I don't like planning work, I hate like, by the time it's planned, I don't even want to do it because I already have it figured out and, and uh, so this is nice because it surprises me and it keeps me guessing and it keeps me like kind of uh, learning more about myself or, or what I see and <laughs> what, you know, what the things, all the, all the things in the world and day-to-day -day visuals that kind of get caught up in my head and this is sort of like cleaning the trap out, you know. Uh, um, I also have a show <laughs> up at Box Gallery right now where I use the same technique but it's a 10 foot by 10 and a half foot drawing. Um, uh, the same technique, same mark making but obviously the scale makes it a little differently or you know you kind of interact with it differently but um, I suggest if you get a chance to stop by, uh, it's up to the end of August. Um, but yeah, if there are any questions, or like I said, it's kind of some twisted imagery in there. It's, uh, you know, I guess, I guess it's like approaching it with the innocence or naivete of like a, a child doodling or drawing, but then the, the life experience and visual references, visual library of, of, of an adult that lives, you know, interacts. And, in the contemporary world, and this is the, the crap that comes out of it. <laughs> Any questions? Sure. Um, I, when I look at it, I see uh, it feels like I'm looking at a lot of people kind of jammed together, almost like a slave ship. Um, that's kind of how I'm seeing it. Can you help walk me through like, what you see when you look at it? Oh, well, that's, I mean, I see. A bunch of stuff. I guess I just kind of see. I don't know if it's 
if it's hell or if it's earth or you know, anything that, that can pop into my head, I think could possibly, plausibly be going on in the world at this point. And so yeah, it's all the, the sadness and the humor and it's, I hope it's everything all at once and it's just the, the, the madness of contemporary life uh, and globalized society, capitalist sort of, you know, hellscape. <laughs> follow up. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. uh, so in the, in the back, it kind of seems like at the top, it looks like the back. And it seems like whatever's happening is kind of leading to the front. Is, is that on purpose or is, is that, am I seeing it? Yeah, I, I wanted an area of density where it feels hectic and kind of madness. Um, but I also wanted to leave some of those, uh, those original lines that Mark making just so you can see the origins of, of the growth and how, how it came to be. Any other questions? How am I going to get on time? Okay. <laughs>